Good morning students. Welcome to Standard 1 Mental Maths class. Students, what is this? Yes, it is a calendar. What can you find in the calendar students? We can find the month's name, the days of the week, the dates and the year. Isn't it students? So, in today's class, we are going to study the days of the week. Days of the week. First of all, students, tell me how many days are there in a week? Yes, there are seven days in a week. The week starts with Monday. So, Monday is the first day of the week. Then we have Tuesday. Tuesday is the second day of the week. Then we have Wednesday. Wednesday is the third day of the week. Thursday. Thursday is the fourth day of the week. Then we have Friday. Friday is the fifth day of the week. Saturday. Saturday is the sixth day of the week. And then we have Sunday. With this, the week ends. So, the Sunday is the seventh day of the week. Now, let us see some questions. Question number one. The first day of the week is. Which is the first day, students? Monday. So, you will write here, Monday. Next question number two. Sunday is the dash day of the week. You have to write the position of Sunday. So, Sunday is the seventh day. You will write ordinal number. Seventh. Seven and th. You can even write the spelling of seventh. Both answers are correct. Number three. The day before Monday is. What comes before Monday, students? Before. Look here. You have to write before Monday. It will be Sunday. Next question. Friday comes after. Friday comes after which day students? It comes after Thursday. So you will write Thursday. T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y. Please do not make spelling mistakes. Number five. There are dash days in a week. How many days are there in a week, students? There are seven days. So, you will write here seven. Okay, students. Now, we will move on to the next topic. That is months of the year. Before starting, students, I would like to ask you a question. Tell me, if I ask you, when is your birthday? How would you answer to me that question, students? You will say the date and then the month. Like for example, 1st December. So I am telling the date, that is 1 and December, which is the month here. So we are going to study about the months of the year. Look here, students. Months of the year. January. January is the first month of the year. February. February is the second month of the year. Then we have March. March is the third month of the year. Then comes April. April is the fourth month of the year. May. May is the fifth month of the year. Then we have June. June is the sixth month of the year. Then we have July. July is the seventh month of the year. August. August is the eighth month of the year. Then we have September. September is the ninth month of the year. Then we have October. October is the 10th month of the year. Then November. November is the 11th month of the year. 
and then at last we have December which is the 12th month or we can say the last month of the year. So all together we have 12 months in a year. So if I ask you students how many months are there in a year, what would you answer? You will say there are 12 months in a year. Now students, we will see that how many days are there in each month. Students, you have to remember that a month has either 30 or 31 days except for February which has 28 or 29 days. Now look here students. January. January has 31 days. February has either 28 or 29 days. March has 31 days. April has 30 days. May has 31 days. June has 30 days. July has 31 days. August also has 31 days. Then September, you have 30 days. October, 31 days. November has 30 days. And December has 31 days. So here students, you have to remember for February, which has 28 or 29 days. Other months are having either 31 or 30 days. You have 31, then 28 or 29. Then we have 31. Now see students, 31, 30, 31, 30. 31, 31. Here there is an exception. Remember July and August both has 31 days. So these two are the consecutive months which has 31 days. That means both the months, one after the other, has 31 days. Then September 30, then 31, 30 and 31. Is it clear students? So this you have to remember that how many days are there in each month. Now students, let us see some of the questions related to months of the year. First question, there are dash months in a year. How many months are there in a year students? There are 12 months. So you will write here 12. You can also write the spelling of 12. Number 2, February has dash days in a leap year. How many days are there in February in a leap year? This you have to remember students. In a leap year, February has 29 days. Suppose the question is, February has dash days. Then you will write 28 or 29. That means you will write 28 and then you will put a slash and then 29. Suppose the question is, February has dash days in an ordinary year. Suppose the question is ordinary year. Then you will write 28 days. So there are three different answers to three different questions here. Is it clear students? Number three. June has dash days. How many days are there in June students? June has 30 days. So you will write here 3030. 30. 30 days. Number four. Dash is the third month of the year. Now which is the third month students? You can count and see. January 1st, February 2nd and March will be 3rd. So the third month is March. So you will write here March. Next, July is the dash month of the year. Here students, you have to tell me the Position of July. That means the ordinal number for July. What is the position of July students? July is 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July. July is the seventh month of the year. So you will write here seventh. S E V E N T H. Or you can even write seven and T H on top of that. Both the answer is correct. So students, we have studied today about the days of the week, the months of the year, the days which each month has, number of days each month has. Now the worksheets related to all these topics will be uploaded on your school website. Kindly go through them students and the important notes also will be shared on the school website. That's all for today students. Thank you and have a nice day.